A big thanks to Bernhard for sponsoring this video. There are literally a dozen ways to cook a tri-tip, but this is my favorite one. Tri-tip is one of my absolute favorite pieces. And why? Because the tri-tip has something that most cuts of meat don't have. It's reasonably affordable and it has characteristics of, for instance, a picanha. If you order one with a beautiful fat cap on top like this one and a good amount of intramuscular fat, then you're in the money because you're going to have a juicy, tasty cut of beef for a fraction of the price. You can cook a tri-tip like a brisket or you could slice it up into steaks. But my favorite way is to roast the tri-tip with a big bulky crust on top. And that's the only thing what matters because my friends from Ineos Grenadier are here and they're hungry. <laughs> These are three absolutely beautiful tri-tips with a good amount of intramuscular fat and a nice fat cap that sits on top of them. If you're looking for a tri-tip, always get it with the fat cap. Then later on you can decide if you want to take it off or leave it on. And I always leave the fat cap on because it's the turbo on your car engine. Before I start cooking my meat, I always inspect it making sure that it looks the best it can. And that means taking off that little bit of silver skin that sits on top of the fat. I want to make the best of this fat, so I'm gonna score it with my knife. This means I'm gonna get more depth in my fat cap, which is gonna make it more easy to render out. Once I got it scored, I'm gonna season it with a light sea salt. This is Fleur de Sel super light sea salt which means it's going to melt easily and it's going to give a light salty flavor to the outside of the tri-tip. I'm only going to put this on the fat cap side of the meat. And during the cooking process the salt is going to help render down the fat and create this beautiful salty fatty crust. I'm going to flip these bad boys over and then we're going to work on our herb crust. I'm going to grate 100 grams of parmesan cheese Press two garlic cloves into that. Add 125 milliliters fine chopped parsley, some fine chopped sage and some fine chopped thyme, the zest of a lemon, 125 milliliters breadcrumbs, half a tablespoon of fine salt. Drizzle on olive oil until the mixture gets sticky. So you just wanna keep on going, keep stirring, keep mixing until you get this consistency. Now place that mixture on top of your beautiful tri-tips and they're ready for the barbecue. I'm gonna be cooking these beauties up. But first, I got fire up Ugh. my beautiful Bernard smoker. This thing is ready to go, and all I need to do is check if I have enough pellets to start smoking, turn it on, and set it to smoke at a temperature of 140 to 150 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna slide these in carefully now so we don't lose that crust. Oh, that's so, so sad. And they're all in safe and sound. Now close the lid and let the barbecue do its job. In the meantime, I'm gonna make a side dish. Starting off by cutting up all of these zucchinis. First, the top and the bottom, then slicing them into half a centimeter thick slices. And I'm using zucchini because they're like sponges. You can put anything on it and make it taste absolutely delicious. So that's why I'm going to make a marinade out of some fine chopped chives, some fine chopped parsley, a little bit of garlic, some salt and a good quality olive oil. I'm going to mix that up and I'm going to spread the zucchini all over my board and brush on that marinade. I'm going to give them a quick sear and then I'm going to place them in my oven tray. Followed by some mozzarella and parmesan cheese to make it extra tasty. Now this goes into the Bernard smoker at a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius for around 20 to 30 minutes. And oh my, does that look delicious. Our beautiful tri-tips are done. They hit a core temperature of 56 degrees Celsius and oh, look at that crust. That is beautiful. It feels like it's like one of those cookie-based pies. Soft and crunchy at the same time. The trick is to get these off without breaking the crust. I'm gonna take a spatula, lift them up, and then carefully take them out. 
and then we're going to slice into them. I got a beautiful tri-tip with a nice crust on top. The crust is very delicate, I must add. So I'm, I don't want to move it too much, but I do want to take a look on the inside. So let's slice into it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is perfection. Look at that, nice and pink, absolutely delicate. A tri-tip with a nice crust packed full with flavor. The sun is shining and the bees are, I don't know, doing their thing. And every year around this period of time, who comes with another tri-tip? It's like the sign, the, the sign of summer. And this year, it's just not any tri-tip. It's a beautiful cheese crusted tri-tip and it's gonna be awesome. I'm just gonna taste it. Screw, screw all the words that I just said. Don't mind it, I'm just gonna eat. Mm. That crust. I put it in my mouth and instantly I get that crust. And it's like a flavor explosion. It's like, boom, all the flavors pop out in my mouth. It's a total experience where, well, your brain starts to overload on little twinkles, like tun -tun -tun -tun. that's what I'm getting. So much flavor. And then when that slowly disappears, you go into the meat mode, the beef, the thing that's inside. Oh, this is so good. I'm gonna have another one. I need, I need more. I need more. Mm. This is how you want your steak. For all the steak lovers that really like that beef flavor, this is it. This is all you need. Forget every other cut. This is my favorite cut of beef. Write that down. Pipmasterx.com. Try tip. Look for it. That's what you need. I would consider this one of my favorite uh, steaks in months. Months? Yeah. But you just love it because there's Parmesan cheese on it. Yeah. You are yeah. a little bit uh, prejudiced. Yeah. Now go but... on, eat your veggies. Okay. There's also Parmesan cheese on it. Really? And this is the test. If Morrison likes this a lot, best veggies, veggies he had in a month, mm. then you know it's because of the Parmesan cheese. Mm. I want to say that these are the best veggies I've had in months, but I can get in trouble with my girlfriend. Amazing no, sandwich. Th these are real veggies. veggies. You yeah. don't like this. But there's Parmesan cheese on it. So she'd probably like it. Mm. But this is really good. Mm. Like a super soft, super tasty, and you get a lot of spices, like fresh ingredients that we chopped up, and it's really coming back into this dish. And then the cheese, just finish it off. The mozzarella, nice stretchy, Parmesan cheese, boom. Puts a smile on my face. Mm -hmm. We need to still do the combo. Combo. combo of course. Time. Combo time. Combo time. All you need to know, this is great food. You gotta make this recipe at home. You gotta make it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the next video. And don't forget to feed the dog. There we go. Come on, yeah. In the meantime, big thanks to the patrons and the YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, eat smartly. And keep on grilling.